Welcome to the Daisy Eco Learner Badge. Don't you love the feel of the warm sun on your face? The sweet smell of a flower? The sounds of birds singing? Or the fun of walking on a trail? Nature gives you many gifts. Now learn some ways you can give back by protecting nature. The three steps to earn the Daisy Eco Learner Badge are 1. Be prepared to protect nature before you go outdoors. 2. Keep living things safe when you walk in nature. 3. Learn how to protect nature from trash. Let's review Leave No Trace. It's fun to be outside and explore, but make sure you protect nature while you're out there. It's like being nature's invisible guest. A special group called Leave No Trace created seven principles to help us keep nature safe. One, know before you go. Two, choose the right path. Three, trash your trash. Four, leave what you find. Five, be careful with fire. Six, Respect wildlife. Seven, be kind to other visitors. Before you start the badge, talk about the list with an adult. What do you think each one of these principles mean? When you get ready to start, remember where you see the camera symbol, be sure to take a picture to share with your troop to earn the badge. Are you ready for step one? Let's go. Step one, be prepared to protect nature before you go outdoors. Girl Scouts know it's important to be prepared. When you go outdoors, take water and maybe a snack. Wear sunscreen and dress in layers. That means you can take layers off if you are too hot or add them if you are too cold. Find out what kind of plants and wildlife you may see and how to treat them. Be prepared to not only keep yourself safe, but keep nature safe too. Here are your choices. Do one or both. Have a be prepared, show and tell. When you go outside, there are some things you will want to bring and some you'll want to leave at home. Gather items around your house and make two piles. One is for take outdoors and one is for leave behind. Think of things like a toaster or a toy. Those should be left behind, right? And water bottle, sunscreen, and bug spray. Those you should probably take, right? Then show an adult your two piles and have them guess what each is for. Make sure you have a be prepared checklist. Check, I have water and a snack. Check, I am wearing the right clothes for the weather. Check, I know what kinds of plants and animals I might see. Check. Or option two is to play a wildlife game with your friends or family. In some of the squares on the chart, and you'll see the chart to the left that you can download, draw pictures of creatures you might find in your backyard or the park, like ants, birds, and worms. In other squares, draw pictures of wildlife you probably won't see near your home, like a lion or an elephant. Play a game with your family or friends by having them circle the pictures of things you are likely to see in your backyard and crossing out the ones you're not. Share your game with others, too. Step two, keep living things safe when you walk in nature. When you walk on a trail, stay on the path. This simple rule is important because when you walk off a path, you might trample plants, flowers, insects, and other living things. So here are your true choices. Watch your step. Go outdoors with an adult and walk along a dirt path. See what kinds of prints you make as you walk. What was on the path? Were there any plants, flowers, or insects? Why do you think it's important to stay on the path? 
talk about that with an adult. For more fun, wear different shoes and see which ones leave the biggest mark on a trail. Or choice two is to make a nature circle. On a trail or a sidewalk or your lawn, lay a circle of string at least three feet long next to the walk or path. Look in the circle and count how many things you find that live there, like plants or bugs. What would be injured if you walked off a path? For more fun, use a magnifying glass to get a closer look and draw a picture of everything you see in your circle. Be sure to take a picture or attach your drawing. Step three, learn how to protect nature from trash. When you toss a snack wrapper on a trail, how long do you think it will last out there? If you guessed hundreds of years, you are right. Not only is trash a mess, it's also dangerous for plants and animals outdoors. Trash may damage plants and soil and cause health problems for creatures that eat it. Find out how you can make a difference. Here are your choices. One, play what does not belong. Look at the drawing on the right of the screen and look at the things that do not belong in nature. Why don't they belong? What would you do if you saw these things along a trail? Then draw your own picture of things in nature and not in nature and have a friend or family member guess what does not belong. You can also download this picture if you're having a problem. Just follow the links in the description below. But look at the picture. What does not belong? Do you see a soda can? How about a bird? What about a sunflower and the flower friends? They belong, right? I see a chipmunk. But what's he sitting on? What's in the front by the road? Is that a tire? I don't think a tire belongs in nature. What other things do you see in the picture? Talk to an adult and share what you found. Your second choice is to create a trash tale. Come up with a story that tells why it's important to not leave trash in nature. Share your story with friends and family. It could be a story about how a bear found food trash at a campsite and ate all of it or about a flower that was surrounded by trash and couldn't grow. If you want, you can draw pictures for your story or make a video or a book. It's up to you. For more fun, sit in a daisy circle with your friends or family and take turns sharing your trash tales. Let's talk about smelly trash. You see the picture of the raccoon? Many animals think that human food and trash smells delicious. Human food and trash is not healthy for wildlife. When you go outdoors or on a camping trip, make sure to keep food and trash in containers that are animal proof, which means they can close shut. Or put food or trash in a secure bag and hang it from a tree so animals can't get at it. And never, ever sleep with food in your tent. Furry critters may sniff it out and find it. And that's it. So what do you do when you finish the badge? Be sure to take pictures or videos of what you've done. Fill out the pad badge report that you can find on our service unit website and turn it in or email it to your leader. Congratulations.